Smoke rising out of cracked roads in Iceland as scientists warn that a simmering volcano could erupt at any moment. More than 3,000 residents of a small fishing town have had to flee their homes. Brian Yenis live in Grindavik with the latest. Hi, Brian. Martha, good morning. Iceland is about the size of Kentucky with 400,000 people. And so when there is a volcanic eruption, which is usually once every five years, it doesn't affect many people or towns. But this time, Martha, it is different because for the first time in a long time, in 50 years, Grindavik is now uh, could be at the epicenter of this thing and could be destroyed by a volcanic eruption. Now, we are not expecting large clouds of ash and smoke like in 2010. And that's because in 2010, 10, the volcano that happened then uh, happened off the coast of Iceland, which caused major disruptions in North America and Europe uh, with about 100,000 flights canceled. We spoke to a scientist earlier today who explained this time it should be different. It's not a Mount St. Helens. Definitely not. Not at all. This is much more comparable to the um, the thin, thin flowing lavas that's oozing out on, on Hawaiian islands, and uh, it, it's more comparable to that scenario. They expect this to happen on land. This won't be an eruption from a singular volcano. Rather, there's about a 10-mile-long fissure that's opened up where magma is building and could rise to the surface. When, where, and how much magma comes out is unknown, but that will determine just how severe this eruption will be. Already, thousands of earthquakes have damaged buildings and caused craters in Grindavik. So, Martha, at this point, it's a wait-and-see approach. We could get about a two-hour warning before said eruption could happen. Martha? Well, uh, it will be interesting. We hope everybody is okay there, and we hope that it, uh, it is as the scientist says. But in the meantime, it's a beautiful live shot, Brian Yenis, uh, and a great look at a beautiful place on Earth. So thank you very much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.